Hi everybody, Life and Vibe, it's Ray and I'm making sure that I put out my trigger warnings first because we're going to be just looking at pictures of foodie eating today. So today she released another mukbang entitled Chili's First Impression, Cheese Queso Pasta, something of that nature and uh, I don't really remember the title and to be honest it's not really important to me. Um, as I have said, I am not going to show her eating because I think it's triggering for those who are managing their own disordered eating. So any of her eating videos in future, I'm just going to take stills from it and kind of summarize what she spoke about and uh, kind of give my thoughts about it. But I will not be participating in taking any um, of her videos where she is eating and actually show the video as a reaction. So that's just where I stand now. I am not trying to support her channel in that way. And I certainly don't want to trigger anybody who is having these types of uh, disordered eating. So I want to always make sure that I'm being sensitive and understanding to those who are in their own recoveries. So anyway, she put out this video today and uh, at the start of the video, she actually offered pep talks uh, through her cameo. So she is saying, if you buy a cameo from me, I can actually, you know, give you a pep talk. And I'm just trying to figure out what type of pep talk would this person be capable of giving anybody. It seems to me that she is dealing, in my opinion, with her own issues around food addiction, depression, potentially um, BED, and so forth. And the more I read about it, the more it seems that she has potentially not only disordered substance use, uh, she also has addictions to food, and she obviously has BED as well. So this is a young lady, well, I use young, she's 40 now, with probably quite a few issues. And so I think it's just kind of best to uh, uh, not kind of, you know, help her with this content and getting her triggering message out. So she says at the start of this video that she's never ate any type of chilies before in Kuwait. And so she wants to give it a try and give it a food review. Uh, she ordered the Cajun pasta, but she ordered a mix of the two. Uh, one is, uh, it's mixed with chicken and shrimp. But I did take a look at some of the nutrition facts of this meal. And the chicken meal, as you can see, has 12,000 calories, or sorry, 1,200, I should say. Sorry, not 12,000. <laughs> I was reading my notes. 1,200 calories, uh, 57 grams of fat. 23 grams of saturated fat, and 180 milligrams of cholesterol. With the shrimp, it was 1,090 calories. Uh, and the most uh, thing that kind of pointed out to me about the shrimp is the amount of salt it contained, which was 3,580 milligrams. And it contains 109 grams of carb. But it was difficult to kind of find out exactly the nutrition for this dish because it was mixed. But I have included these nutrition facts on the two meals. The Obviously, the 1,200 is the chicken and the 1,090 calories is the shrimp. She then goes on, and obviously the sort of goal for most people is about 2,000 a day. So she also has queso with a chili beef in it. She has salsa, she has a piece of buttered garlic bread, and two bags of tortillas, one bag for each of the dips. And these look like uh, portions for um, people to share. This is not a meal for a single person. She talks about having um, looked at other channels with mukbangs, and having seen that they, in the United States, are able to get the triple dipper, dipper cheese sticks. And she wished she could get those mozzarella cheese sticks. She goes throughout and discusses the quality of the tortilla chips. 
and she just makes so many food sounds while she's eating. I just thought it was it was really kind of for somebody like me, I don't have misophonia, but knowing she's an unmanaged, uncontrolled type 2 diabetic and had the tray of those desserts in front of her the day before and had ate an entire pizza and so forth, it's really difficult for me as a healthcare provider to want to watch somebody, you know, sacrifice her pancreas because the only feast of sacrifice that uh, she is showing through id is, um, and I hope I pronounced that correctly, during this festive season um, for the, uh, people of the Muslim faith, is the sacrifice of her pancreas because she doesn't seem to be following any of the other significant reasons behind this religious time in Kuwait. Uh, she discusses the quality, like I said, of these tortilla chips. She says things like she's loving this. Uh, she seems to have no concern, obviously, about what she had mentioned three weeks ago about her health and wanting to have a healthier lifestyle because this says quite distinctly otherwise. The big thing that she really does talk about in this is that she has injured herself again and that I am guessing this is another ploy for her to get sympathy from her audience. Though it, it can be difficult to feel sympathy toward somebody who is doing such intentional self-injury to themselves, knowing full well what her medical conditions are and that she continues to eat in this fashion. She stated she threw her back out and she is ordering in today because she obviously is injured. She would not be able to cook and that's why she's ordering in tonight. She said that the issue with the back had happened the night before and that she suddenly heard a pop and it has left her in a bit of pain. She then verbalizes and remarks that the sciatica, which we know was never diagnosed to be sciatica, took a month to get better, though she goes off and on between saying she has that condition, though it's never been, as I said, officially diagnosed. And she says that this one will only take a couple of days for her to get over. Uh, she talks a lot about how big the shrimp are, how good the shrimp are in the dish, and how big the pieces of chicken are. So she kind of goes between talking about the food and talking about her back. She does, it, like I said, it was so many eating noises, it was so hard to watch. She also mentioned that she had plans today, though she did not mention what those plans were and that she's going to have to wait, but she she might go tomorrow. And she said, no matter, and then she kind of changed and said, well, no matter how bad my back hurts, I'm going to have to go. She's going tomorrow for whatever, for whatever she needs to do. And we know that she's getting close to the time that her tourist visa will be coming to an end. And so I'm wondering if that's, you know, what's going on, that it's something that can't wait for her to do. She says that uh, the night before or the previous night, her stomach was growling and she said she <laughs> does not eat past a certain hour of the day. And uh, we've seen her eat all hours of the day and night she has a history of being untruthful, so it's difficult to know what is truthful about that. Uh, it's, it, she, I don't know if she's just giving lip service to her audience, but uh, I don't put a lot of stock into what she says at this time. It's just, and it, as much as you want to believe people, when somebody says that they're going to take care of their health or that they are going to do something else, and then do not follow through with it and then uses the rationale that, oh, I just changed my mind a lot. It's then difficult to find the person to be genuinely honest. And so that's kind of where I sit in that matter. She did also say um, she is hungry when she was lying in the bed and she wanted to get something really good to eat. And just then continuously keeps, you know, talking about this shrimp in the meal. 
she tries to say they are, um, let me see what my notes say, tries to say uh, they are like just delicious and she remarked that she took her uh, pain medications that were over the counter, uh, says she is feeling better than she had the night before, she remarks that she needs to get rest on her back but that she also is unable to stand up straight. Um, she goes on about the queso is good with the chili beef in it and that she wants to, um, I just kind of say, she says something about, you know, not being careful with her back, something. She's kind of not clear with her conversation. She goes back and forth between obviously the food and a little bit of information about the back. And we understand that Chantel is heavier in her weight than she often admits and the back is only designed to hold but so much weight and her being five foot tall I would think that her back is probably feeling the effects of having to carry uh, such large amounts of weight in the front of her abdomen. It's just a structural thing. It's nothing to try to bully or being mean to her. But if you are carrying a couple of people on the front of your body, which she potentially is with that weight on her abdomen, then your back is going to feel the strain of that over time. And so she did get out and about the other day to the cafe. So I don't know if that just put extra strain on her joints and bones. She says she's full at the end towards the meal, um, but she wants to continue to eat just a couple of more bites uh, because it's so good. So she just wants to get in and eat a little bit more of the salsa, a little bit more of the tetiria, a little bit more of the queso. And she says that she's sure she is, she'll have to rest the back. And she also talks about the salsa giving her heartburn. So <laughs> I'm just curious, if why would you eat something that gives you heartburn? But she says she doesn't eat it very frequently. I've never experienced heartburn, luckily. So I would not want to eat something that aggravated that. Um, but that's her choice. She's an adult. She just talks about the food being really good, how big the portions are, that the portions are really good. And she wants to say that the pasta is filling for her. She asked the audience to let her know in the comments section what their favorite food from Chili's is. I've never been to a Chili's, I think, in years, so I would have no idea. And that was kind of the end of it. She didn't give any indication of where she was going, what her plans are for tomorrow. And I guess she wants sympathy for her back being popped out which it's difficult to show sympathy to someone who is purposely self-injuring themselves through food. And she understands, hopefully, that the amount of food she eats is going to cause her health issues. I mean, I would not want to see what her blood sugar is following this meal. I did obviously have to take time to report this video. I did report it obviously uh, when she talked about the portions being big and just under the idea of it being self-injury and harm and harm to other people. So I just continue to keep reporting to you to all of her mukbangs and indeed an indication that she gives within her content that this is not following YouTube's terms of service for disordered eating. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick summary of Chantel's video and we will catch you on the next one.